here for uh, giving me the opportunity of sharing my personal views and thoughts that might be just an interesting conversation. Uh, I will give a short, I know that time is very vital uh, for today, a short presentation on real, real world reference. Uh, okay, just to say that real world as a phrase is a conventional term. Obviously, all sounds are real. Our experience cannot be divided into real and non-real. Everything we feel through our senses is part of the whole, our experience. So, let me quickly start with a basic question. What is real world reference in acoustic music, according to my opinion? Um, one could say that the, the creative use of language or and or narration in pieces, as well as the use of sounds from the city and nature, carrying a particular contextual meaning. An additional question would be what is the main elements or potential, if you like, of real world reference experience. It recalls everyday experience through memory. It creates memory. Uh, it records instances of soundscapes of a particular uh, place in a particular time, so that might be used <coughs> as an archaeological evidence in the future, I suppose. And uh, finally, uh, it encourages international bonding or intercultural exchanges, if you like. Uh, so, for example, when we experience a listening of an electroacoustic piece dealing with World War II, which includes narration, archival recorded, uh, recordings and uh, reportage from uh, the bombing of a city from the Nazis, do we really care about any kind of analysis reflecting concept of typology, sound criteria, spectro or spatial morphology? Is there something there that needs to be analyzed or even better understood and be channeled that goes beyond analysis? Could we include this real world experience in the analytical procedure? Uh, taking John Young's Ricordiamo Forli as a paradigm, if we lack this kind of information regarding the real story beyond the sound, we lack the essence of the particular piece. I'm of the opinion, and this is not dogmatic, that the traditional approach to analysis, say, Schaeferian typology, uh, using spectrum morphology or De La Lanz approach, etc., focuses on sound as either a physical signal or psycho psychoacoustic phenomenon. But is this enough for real world reference? Preserving, recording, analyzing in a traditional way the sound is not enough. We need to preserve and transmit information to preserve knowledge to preserve the contextual elements of a recording of a piece. <coughs> there are elements beyond listening to the sounds, to borrow from Catherine Norman, uh, that need to be addressed and informed towards the listener. I suppose OREMA project, uh, I suppose, I'm not sure, does not cover this. Uh, so I would probably like to suggest to the developers that this might be a possibility regarding the software development as well as the online community. Um, but how we can preserve this information? <coughs> mm, maybe use of metadata tags based on information provided by the composer. Create an online forum where contextual information could be circulated. And, oops, oh, sorry. That. <laughs> uh, where are we? Yeah. And uh, maybe use of social networks like Facebook to trigger a broader response or to develop applications for these kind of networks. Uh, this is all I have prepared for today, actually. And uh, let me finish for with a small t a statement. Um, I'm of the opinion that the attempt of analyzing a work, not necessarily a musical work, is not a unique and autonomous process. On the contrary, it is only one part of our experience, audio or visual, during which we try to understand a work. Specifically, in the case of music, analysis, composition and listening are interrelated parts of the same procedure, 
subject to the mechanism of human cognition. So please allow me to say that all attempts in analyzing a work in an abstract way and without taking account the cognitive mechanisms of our perception are not entitled to define or outline any attribute of a musical work. So I will finish with a proposal. I think that cognitive scientists should be involved in electroacoustic music analysis projects. Thank you very much.